Hello and welcome to another problem solving session on sequence and series. Uh, we have been solving problems related to sum of n terms of an AP. So let's take another problem in this series. It says how many uh, terms of the series 54, 51, 48, dash, uh, so on and so forth be taken so that their sum is 513, right? And uh, it seems there will be something called double answer so we'll see what is this double answer and uh, we'll explore and evaluate that so let's begin this solution so what is the series series here given is 54 51 48 so on and so forth right you can see all multiples of 3 they are so you know going forward it will be um, 9 6 3 0 minus 3 like that it will keep on going right this is what is the series now uh, clearly a is 54 and what is d d is clearly minus 3 right here lots of people make mistake d is nothing but 48 minus 51 rather than 51 minus 48 later term minus the preceding term right so minus 3 d is negative d is negative so Keep that in mind. Now, uh, it says that the sum is 513. Let's say Sn is 513. Okay, n terms. And we have to find out this n. And by the formula of first n terms of an AP, we can write this is 2a plus n minus 1 times d. And this quantity has to be 513. Let's deploy the values of a and d and try to find out n. So, n upon 2 twice a that means 2 times 54 plus n minus 1 times minus 3 is equal to 513 right i can take this 2 here to the other side and multiply it and it will become n times 104 108 rather plus 3 right minus 3 into minus 1 is plus 3 minus 3 n is twice 513 right so this 2 comes here multiplies right so this is n within brackets 111 minus 3n is equal to 1026 so this is nothing but n into thrice 37 minus n isn't it is equal to 1026 so n into 37 minus n will be 1026 by 3 right so this is 37 n minus n square is equal to 3 and 4 and 2 yeah so the equation is n square minus 37 n plus 3 4 2 is equal to 0 this is the equation which you get so clearly this is a quadratic equation and we have to now solve this so that we get the value of n. Either you go for Sridhar Acharya's rule or splitting the middle term will also help. So you can see this is nothing but 18 times 19 is 342. Right. So I can write n square minus 18n minus 19n plus 342 is 0. Okay. So clearly n times n minus 18 minus 19 times n minus 18 is 0 so splitting the middle term helped so hence let me write over here so this becomes n minus 18 n minus 19 is 0 so that means either n is equal to 18 or n is equal to 19 so we get two terms 18 and 19 and hence they are asking to explain why these two terms two two n's right that means sum of uh, in the same AP sum of first 18 terms is also same that is how much 513 and sum of first 19 terms is also 513 this is happening because there is a negative uh, D in this case so if you notice 54 48 uh, sorry 51 was there in the middle so 51 and then 48 and then so on and so forth these are all multiples of 3 if you notice so this will be 9 6 3 0 minus 3 minus 6 and so on and so forth now if you see sum of this these many terms or 
sum of these many terms same why because the sum there is one term which is zero so addition of zero will not impact the sum so hence oh sorry uh, i have to just um this one till 3 not till 6 this right so sum of these many terms whatever is the value of n and the next term also if you're writing that is zero so sum is not getting impacted since there is a zero over here hence you can see there is a right uh the sum remains same so these if if you see till 3 these are 18 terms okay and till 19 uh, till 0 these are 19 terms right clear now it is not that only 18 terms and 19 terms will have the same sum if you see 17 term let me draw like this so these these are 17 terms so 17 and 20 terms also that is if you include in 17 term if you include these three terms as well 3 0 and minus 3 right that means add three more terms that is s20 they are all same because s17 is still 54 51 dot 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 till 6 and s20 will be this plus 3 plus 0 minus 3 which is again same sum right isn't it so there will be lots of pairs of you know sums which are same for example again s16 if you look closely will be equal to s21 similarly s of 15 15 terms will be equal to s of 22 and so on and so forth you could see you can check why because there are adding of you know 3 and minus 3 6 and minus 6 so the sum is getting 0 i hope this is understood till s17 we have to go to 6 we have one sum and then until s20 you add 3 0 and minus 3 which will get you the same sum which is equal to sum till 17 terms so sum till 20 terms include 3 0 and minus 3 so hence it is equal to sum till 17 terms as well so hence you will get double answers you'll get two values of n for which the sum of n terms is same